Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. Ruby Snack 17 is our final installment in our Deploy to Digital Ocean series. This episode is part six, Launch to Production. Woohoo! In this episode, we'll set up the production branch, rake the production secret key, configure Apache for production, and edit the DNS. We'll also go over some troubleshooting issues that I had while deploying to production. If you'd like to code along, you just need a virtual private server set up. We're using DigitalOcean in this mini course and Capistrano set up in your app. You do not need to necessarily have a staging environment set up. You could just be deploying this as production. So if you'd like to check out other videos, you can check out number 12 and probably 13 is good too, but definitely 14 as well. First up, we'll be setting up our production branch. So we need to create that branch with Git. Then we need to merge in the master and we need to push it to our GitHub account. And then we will deploy to the server and troubleshoot if necessary. So we'll check that deploy and then we'll deploy. Opening up our terminal in our app, we will get checkout dash B for new branch production. Then we will merge in master that we've been working on and I'll get push origin production, which creates that new remote branch. Now let's see how we're doing. Let's cap production, deploy, check. And that'll make a lot of folders and make sure everything's set up. And it's running, takes just a moment. And it's good to go. So let's go ahead and try cap production deploy. See where we get to, it's running, it's running. I've actually edited out some of the uh, deploy part here because it takes a little bit of time. Oh, and we have an error. Uh-oh, let's go and look. This might happen to you, it might not. So it is missing the devise secret key. If you watched earlier episodes, you saw that it happened to us in staging as well. However, this time when I was trying to solve the error in the same way that I did, I made an environmental variable and I put it into my dot profile, it did not work this time. It just would not take it. I even asked DigitalOcean, hey, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And they pointed me in the direction of using the Figaro gem instead, not using the dot profile on your server. So when using device, you cannot place the environmental variables in the dot profile and deploy with Capistrano. It's an ordering thing, so use Vigoro instead. But for now, we're just going to put it right in our app because it's just a test app, all right? Look for an upcoming episode where we will implement Vigoro. Until then, yep, see that I have put that lovely long secret right in my code, which is so bad to do, but that's the way that I got it work just for now. But be warned, if you leave it like that, bad things will happen. Explosions, chaos galore. Like somebody hacking your app. Let's get back to it. If you make any changes because of the troubleshooting, just a reminder to go ahead and commit these changes. And for us, we had to add the device key right in the app. And we're going to save this and Actually, we're in production. Hmm, so let's go ahead and get checkout master. You wanna keep master up to date with anything that you need to change while in deployment. So let's merge the production. Let's go ahead and push to master. So it's all up to date. And now let's go back to production. So get checkout production. And let's push that. And we push origin production. So now it's up to date. And let's give it another try. Let's cap production deploy and see if our troubleshooting efforts have been a success. So it's running through again and gets down to that assets pre-compile. And yep, we're good to go. And it continues. Sped this up a little bit for time's sake and it is deployed. Now that our code is on the server, it's time to rake the production secret key. 
So we'll SSH into the server, CD into the newest release for production, and then rake the secret. Then we'll copy the output to dot profile for now. Back in our terminal, we'll SSH into deploy at your IP address, and we're in. So now we will go ahead and CD into the code that is deployed to Ruby Thursday production this time and releases. Then you ls so that you see the numbers because they're going to be different. So go ahead and CD into the latest one. Then I like to just double check that we are in indeed a Rails app and we are. So we'll rake the secret. And there it is. Copy and paste that. So copy. Great. So we're already in our server. So let's CD back to home and now open that profile. And I'll scroll on down with the arrow. And you, if you're paying attention, you see that I tried to put in a device secret key for production. It didn't work. Moving on. Now it's time to configure Apache for production. So again, just as we did for staging, we'll copy the default file as the production file, so Ruby Thursday production. Then we'll open the new file for editing. Then we will edit the Apache file and include there. Everything is pretty much as it was for staging, except that the document root is to Ruby Thursday production, the Rails environment is production, and the directory goes to Ruby Thursday production. Again, you should use whatever real domain name you want to test this out on. Finally, we'll enable the production site and then restart our server. We're still in our server, so let's go ahead and copy paste that command to copy that file over. You may have forgotten that we are in there, so just enter your password if you need to. Now let's open up this file and we need to delete the default information and then paste in our own. And we're good. So we will control X and Y to exit. Now we will enable our new site and then we need to restart our server. And it's restarted. Now we'll exit that. Next we need to edit our DNS settings so that it will point to our server. So we'll go down to the A file, the at, to the main one and let's go ahead and edit that. Put in your IP address for your server. And we have it at a low second. That's great. Finish. You'll want to raise that up if this is a long-term project. Go ahead and save. And great. That's saved. So now for the moment of truth. Let's go to the domain name. Mine is rubysnack.com. I'll put that in and here we go, drum roll please, and it's up. We have deployed to production. So recap, we've edited the DNS. You can do the same QA. I recommend that for anything, especially emails and things. And now you can pick your reward. Maybe a drink, maybe a chocolatey dessert. Hey, maybe buy yourself something new. Congratulations, if you've gone through the whole series, you've deployed a staging environment and a production environment on a DigitalOcean server. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you and help you as much as I can. And hey, if you have encountered that device error and you know a better way to fix it, I'm all ears. <laughs> If you want more Ruby Snacks, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on that button right there. And if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up to get more Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Have a great day and see you soon.